for a big ass winner of the day. That person will be registered to take the Hot Wire Challenge this Friday. A chance to win airfare for two people up to $1,000 from hotwire.com. And then also, uh, says he, Al Dukes tells us somebody got kicked off the Letterman show now. Well, this Annie DeFranco, she was... I'm telling you, I'm not that familiar with her. She's kind of one of those alternative... Uh, is she part women. of the DeFranco family? No, no, it's not. Hi, Peter's a love beat? Nice. No, it's not those uh, people. She does like Sarah McLaughlin type sad music. Who? Sarah McLaughlin? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, she's like one of I'm not in it. It's all chick rock stuff. Yeah, it's like alternative chick rock. Oh, okay. Yeah. She was supposed to be on Letterman, and she wanted to do this new song of hers called Subdivision. Uh-huh. And after the Letterman uh, people heard the song, they told her that she has to do something more upbeat. What's uh, what's her name, by the way? Annie DeFranco. All right, what is her big hit? Is there anything we would know? No, there's not, nothing that you would know. No. All right, then, uh, now, if we don't know her and we work in radio, right? how the hell is she getting a Letterman spot? That's I, what I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know if she's big with the college crowd or who her audience is, but... I heard right, we got some before. college kids here. Do they, do they know her? Let me check. Are they familiar with her work? Don't go running out of here. Are you doing a bit? <laughs> You're doing a bit. Let me run out down the hallway and just see. You guys wait here. I know people know who she is, though. All right, let's empty some of these phone lines and see if people can tell us since you can. All right. Since you cannot tell us. Who this Annie DeFranco is. So she's supposed to do Letterman, and she picks a song that Letterman personally doesn't like? Well, she picked a song that she wanted to do, and they didn't like it, so they asked her to pick a more upbeat song, and they suggested one off of her CD, and she said that no one tells her uh, what song she plays. She is Annie DeFranco, damn it. No one tells Annie DeFranco what to play. I no. made my bones when you were banging cheerleaders in the back of your dad's car. If she married someone from the United States, would she be Annie DeFranco American? I, we're done with that, then, Susie. Please. <laughs> Franco. All right, so she says to Letterman, you don't tell me what to do. Right. But she chooses what song she performs. Take this uh, song and shove it, she says. Pretty much. And so they, they canceled her just because they didn't think her song was upbeat enough? Well, then she said... they got to be upbeat on that stuff. <laughs> then she suggested maybe they reschedule her for a night where they're doing stuff that's not as upbeat. I see. And they still said no. What night does that happen? All right. Uh, here's some of the people writing in. She's not sad, Al. She's soulful. She's got a nice sound, and I happen to like her music. Here's another one. Uh, Mary Beth said she's awesome, and she plays punk folk. Loser Al. And then this next guy uh, says, uh, she served me last night at an IHOP. So it looks like the girls dig her, and the guys uh, aren't into her as much. And here's one that says, if she married Ed Harris, would she be Annie DeFranco Harris? That's <laughs> <laughs> I gotta quit reading those. All right, here's one that says, you guys work in radio and you don't know who Annie DeFranco is? She's been around for years. She's more talented than Ron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait till I go in there singing my soulful punk folk. Did Bob write that in? <laughs> here's uh, Bob, the, the angry Christian National Public Radio caller. Here's uh, Jeff. Uh, you're on my side. Hey, Jeff. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. Yo, I mean, the Franco is huge, man. Yeah. How can you not know who she is? Uh, she I guess that... only, She started her own label, right? She's Dave Records. Uh, you know, yeah. I, you know uh, when most people start their own label. It's not a good sign. No, it's, no, like, she, it's like publishing your own book. It's not right. a good sign. She didn't cave in, man. She was, she was bigger than Alanis Morissette when Alanis Morissette was stealing all her stuff. Alanis mm -hmm. Morissette stole from her. So she's yeah. been big for years. All right, here's... She's a monster player. All right, you know, hold on. <laughs> here's J.D., J.D. She fat? Hey, fat. Yeah. Yes. I got to tell you something. My voice is cracking more than yours today. I think I'm hitting puberty. All right, J.D. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah. Card number 177. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say she's huge in the lesbian scene. Oh, it's the lesbian scene, huh, Jeff? Yeah. Oh, it's Melissa Etheridge, though. No, she's not a lesbian. Yes, she's yeah, she's a lesbian. I don't know if she is. And I know oh, Melissa Etheridge. Lesbian. I could probably tell you Melissa Etheridge's two hits. And she's, and she's been around. Come on. What? I know that whole look through my window thing. And, right. No. And something else. And she come on over. Come something. on over. I'm upset. Oh, you're <laughs> killing me, guys. I'm come sorry. On over. I'm not... I need to munch. I'm not big yes. into the uh, lesbos. It's right down your alley, man. You'd love her. All right, 
So what is the problem? What she the sounds thing? delightful. What was no. what, what was the problem, Al? So her songs are just too sad to be on Letterman. All the songs are... I think all of her songs are. I, that's good. their only problem with this song. That's the only problem with it. Uh, thanks, J.D. and Jeff. <laughs> yeah, but, but we know Letterman's just so, so excitable. All right. Uh, the problem is it's not upbeat enough for them. All right, Al, Al, why do I feel like... Now, there's been a couple of days. Why do I feel there's something else about this song that you're not telling me? Well, I know... And, and no one's going to say, your song's not upbeat enough. Well, I know the the songs about race relations. All right, look at all of our stuff. We're saying but, that you're wrong now. But their, the Letterman's complaint wasn't that it was about race. It was they said it wasn't upbeat enough. That's a lie, though, right? It's well, that can't be right. All right, let's take a listen to this song. Okay. We'll do, you know, since we're the biggest Andy DeFranco fans alive. <laughs> and to, you know, believe me, I love her. I think her stuff is great. Uh, to me, I get along with her like dy- dykes and dogs. I couldn't be happier. That's her new album. Dykes and dogs. <laughs> I spent nights with dykes and dogs. All right, let's listen a little bit to this because I want to see if it's rocking hard. All right, what's the name I'm of this song? I'm going to start with yeah. Andy DeFranco. This song is called Subdivision. Subdivision. Yeah. Is that some sort of term for munch? I, I see Earl came in. Earl, you're familiar with her? The Dykes and Dogs album? No. Annie DeFranco? I am familiar with Annie DeFranco, yes. Annie. Oh, Annie. 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 We've been saying Annie. Annie. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't even know like that. Like the kid in the Phantom Menace. Menace. Annie. I don't want to correct you again, but you're supposed to be our producer. You've been bitching us for three days. Run with this bit. It's great. Run with this bit. You don't, you don't know why they don't like her or her name. I think that people pronounce it differently. Some say Annie, some say Annie. Are you saying it's like with uh, black people, they say aunt instead of aunt? Is that where this coming from? Hey, uh, Troy, you're on Ron Fest. Hey, what's up, guys? Down to Mike Sutter. What? Oh. Please, be nice. 